Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, episode of Life as Nasby with me, Natalie Sherlock. Now, today what I thought we were going to, what we would be doing is, uh, I decided to start a new series. So this series is called Are They Autistic? So, you know, we have Are They Gay? Are They Whatever? Are They This? Are They That? So this is Are They Autistic? So, um, I will be looking at, it, well, each episode I will be looking at a different character from a movie, TV show, book, whichever have you. Sorry. Oh, uh, I, I thought I was about to sneeze and then it turned into a yawn. Um, so f forgive me for that. So, um, but you know, these things are natural, um, occurrences. So, yeah, we just have to put up. So, today what I thought I would do is, uh, to start off with, is analyse the character of Mr. Bean. Now, everyone knows and loves Mr. Bean, um, so there have been many sort of different iterations and incarnations of Mr. Bean, um, mostly, so uh, these include the, uh, the, the series with Ryan Atkinson, the films with Ryan Atkinson, and the cartoons, which are, I, I don't, I don't think, they're Ryan Atkinson, <laughs> uh, but they're based on his kind of features, I think. <coughs> um, forgive me, this this uh, book that I uh, I put my notes in is is all mouldy, uh, and it's making me cough. Um, so I'm just going to leave that way over there. So. I, I don't, I don't know, start coughing and whatever have you. Um, so, <laughs> got an itchy eye now. <laughs> um, so, let's get into the basics. Let's go back, right back to basics of what is uh, autism uh, and some of the traits of, of autism. So that we may establish if uh, Mr. Bean has any, displays any of those traits. Um, and or if he displays enough of them to be autistic, to be considered autistic. Uh, apologies. Um, so, there will be a definition of autism appearing on your screen right now. So, I mean, obviously... Like, I would hope most of my viewers know what autism is by now. But if you're new to the channel, uh, first of all, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and uh, But also, you know, if you don't know anything about autism and, and that's what you're here to learn, then obviously uh, you can read the uh, definition that's on your screen now. So, having that being said... Uh, let's look at some of the traits of autism. So, uh, lack of social communication. Um, so, that would be, the. I think, well, that definitely relates to Mr. Bean because he, uh, he very rarely speaks uh, in both, in any kind. I don't think he just ever speaks in the cartoons. I think he just kind of grunts or you know, makes noises, um, but, you know, um, that is, like, something that is definitely uh, a trait uh, of Mr. Bean, lack of social communication, and when he is around other people, he finds it difficult to, uh, you know, speak to them, or, or whatever have you, um, so I think we see this more when well, actually we see it quite a lot in both the TV show and the movie. 
because in the movie, because obviously there is more than one movie uh, of uh, Mr. Bean's, and there's Mr. Bean and Mr. Bean's Holiday. So that is hilarious, by the way, Mr. Bean's Holiday. I just, when he's got the language dean in his mouth, it's just absolutely hysterical. Laugh out loud, brummy. Uh, but anyway, uh, so <clears throat> going back to what we're actually talking about, uh, um, yes, uh, so lack of social communication, he rarely speaks, and when he does speak, it's sort of monosyllabic and, and not very sort of, uh, lengthy, <clears throat> he doesn't speak in lengthy sentences, uh, so that is one of the traits of autism. So uh, that's one. <laughs> Tick, ding. <laughs> right, yeah. Trait count. <laughs> Mr. Bean, trait count one. So uh, another trait of autism is uh, so sensory issues. So I am not sure if um, Mr. Bean has any sensory issues. Um, he doesn't, like, he, he, I, I don't think I've seen him, like, stick his fingers in his ears or jump at a loud noise. He may have done, uh, but, like, I think we might have to leave a question mark under that one. There again, he does shave his tongue, um, as we see in the movie. <laughs> Uh, he does shave his tongue, which is quite um, a bizarre thing to do. But, like, you know, I would have thought that anyone with any sensory issues would not... Uh, well, if, if you were... There again, no regular person uh, shaves their tongue. So, I don't know. That's just a bit weird. Um, so, another... Um, trait, of course, is uh, echolalia, which is repeating words. Um, and I am not entirely sure. I don't think uh, he has ever repeated any words. Uh, so <clears throat> not looking that good, for, <laughs> uh, really. Um, for the uh, Mister B is being autistic, um, but. Let's carry on and see what... Right, I'm going to bring this book back to stop me looking over there. Um, I will just have to put up with the stench of mould. Uh, so, finding it hard to understand how people think or feel. I think this is definitely relevant to Mr Bean because in the movie, uh, he is he finds it difficult to understand why... Um, the uh, why why the uh dad like why the 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 chap he's with is so upset, um, and he finds it he sort of finds it very awkward, um, and and he uh, and another springboarding onto that is actually uh not picking up on social cues or social rules, and. Definitely, Mr. Bean, um, the movie, he doesn't pick up on the fact that the 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 chap wants him to leave. It like he's dropping all these hints about him, you know, going, uh, and he just doesn't. It just goes straight over his head. He doesn't get that he wants him to leave. So I think those two are definitely a tip. So two, so we're up to three now. Uh, finding it hard to say how he feels. Um, I think that's also relevant because you know he is. Some we know he's sad from his facial expressions, and uh, you know when he actually does. Um, tell him to leave or whatever have you um and but he doesn't sort of express that verbally um 
and I think in in other situations as well, uh, he finds it difficult to actually express how he feels. Um, so obviously routine. Uh, Mr Bean has a daily routine. Um, this is uh, clear and established from the beginning of the movie when he's he brushes he like you know gets uh, ready uh, to go to work um and you know <laughs> albeit he does most of it on the way to work uh but you know it's it's still a, a routine and something he does every day um now planning things carefully before doing them this uh i think it, well i mean we know that he can make a plan i mean he and this also springboards onto uh high intelligence now you would think at first glance that mr bean is like completely stupid but when you actually look at the things he does he's actually a genius uh so not only does is he able to drive a car while sitting on the roof of it I'm not entirely sure why he does that why he can't just sit in the car and drive it like a normal well like a regular person um but um you know he he does it he manages it he also manages to take his trousers off without taking his pants off no no he he manages to take his pants off without taking his trousers off um which like i think i thought was impossible um but yeah <laughs> mr bean does it um so he also, not to mention, does that completely genius thing, uh, that whole scene in the where he's with the painting. So not only does he put laxative in the uh, guard's coffee and switches all the keys around so he can't find the bathroom key, um, he also you know, gets the, the chewing gum and the sticks the um the 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 copy of the painting, the print of the painting from the magazine or the like the uh, billboard or whatever it is, uh to the frame. Um so it looks like he uh, it's look like the real painting. Um so he does all of that and he he manages, I do beg your pardon, he manages it. And then uh, he gives that brilliant, heartwarming speech, um, which is quite out of character for an autistic person because usually we're very shy in front of um, like public speaking. And he obviously he doesn't want to do it. At first he doesn't want to do it at all, but then he kind of gets pushed into it. Um, and he does that fantastic speech, you know, it's like about uh, Whistler's mother, you know, this is a very um, good painting because it is a painting of Whistler's mother. <laughs> you know, he speaks uh, like that. Um, but interestingly enough, Ron Atkinson um, himself does actually have a stutter. Uh, so it's interesting uh his i find mr bean's um communi methods of communication very interesting and his actual speech patterns because rowan himself can obviously speak um well normally but not you know not like mr bean uh he can you know as we know uh because he's been in black anna and also uh, the thin blue line which we'll come on to possibly in a later episode uh yeah uh so because i have my suspicions about raymond um so yeah so he i think he definitely is highly intelligent uh but i think the way he's able to be so highly intelligent is 
because he looks at the world differently and his brain works differently and it makes different connections that neurotypical brains wouldn't normally necessarily make. Also, seeing noticing minute details and patterns instead of looking at the bigger picture. And that, I think, definitely is um, another uh, thing that's relevant um, to Mr Bean. And, uh, and I just think Mr Bean, and, oh yeah, going back to the high intelligence, not only does he do all that, but he performs surgery. He actually takes a bullet out of a man and saves his life, right, twice, actually. Because obviously he takes a bullet out first and then puts it back again because it's not what he's looking for. He's looking for his M&M. But uh, this, then the second time he actually takes a bullet out and saves the guy's life. And um, and then he saves the life of the woman, the the, the girls, uh, the, the teenage girl that's been in the motorcycle crash of the family he's staying with. Uh, so... You know, he is actually really clever, um, but not in the conventional way. Uh, so, you know, obviously he's not, not particularly academic. Um, but, and also he manages to get himself into the most bizarre situations, but always gets himself out of them, which is incredible. Um, and a, a hilarious scene is when he's on the airport and he he is is doing the the gun uh, the two fingers like this is are you on any medication? No. It's like will you will you consider it? <laughs> um, but yeah. So um, that as well uh and what else have we got specific interests now it's i mean obviously mainly his the only specific interest that mr bean has got i can see is is teddy bear <clears throat> which isn't really a specific interest but he does take good care of his teddy bear uh, mr ted uh teddy rather um, Mr. Teddy, he takes good care of him, but, uh, I'm not entirely sure that it counts as a, um, count as a, uh, trait, um, or as a specific interest. The other thing, of course, is taking things literally. Now, um, I think we've got some evidence of this throughout the series and, um, movies. And no, apologies if I'm not being that specific here. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this is the first video in the series, and it was quite ad hoc. So uh, the the second episode, like all the subsequent episodes, will be uh, a lot more uh, in-depth, and I will, you know, have specific, pull up ex specific examples uh, of <clears throat> evidence. Um, but, yeah, so wrapping it up then, so he has lack of social communication, lack of social cues, um, he, uh, and also, uh, he is, uh, one thing I didn't mention is he is an introvert, uh, so that can be a sign uh, an autistic trait but not necessarily because i am autistic and i'm an extrovert so uh i love you know um like have having friends of being around people unfortunately i don't have many friends but i do have a few um so yeah uh so he is definitely an introvert. He likes being on his own. He lives alone. Um, I mean, there is, like, some uh, episodes where he, or parts where he falls in love. Um, but, I don't know, it doesn't seem to last very long, uh, which is sad, which is, you know, relationship problems on the autistic spectrum are very, very commonplace. 
I mean, I've had two exes uh, to date, so, um, yes. Anyway, enough about me, Mr Bean. So, do I think he's autistic? Final, final observation, final conclusion. Um, or, or as um, Lord Trigger would say, I'm going to summarise. I love it, really, does it? Um, yeah, so, I think Mr B is um, on the autistic spectrum. Um, because uh, there is quite a lot of evidence to support this theory. Uh and and also my my aspidar uh and and everything all right well i'm just going to uh wrap this video up now um and uh i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you will return for the next episode of are they autistic uh and i will end by saying my usual catchphrase goodbye god bless and continue being awesome